What you got there, Turbo? What you got? Oh, did you get your stick? You got your stick. Such a good boy. So good at cleaning up all those sticks. Good boy, Turbo. Always great to encourage the puppies to destroy things, right? Yeah, maybe not such a good idea. Hey, what's up, garden friends? How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I am great. It is extremely toasty today. I don't know why it's turning to weather forecast, but it, well, it, there is a reason. So it's supposed to go up to 98. Not the end of the world though. The weather is supposed to break sometime in the next couple days and it's going to cool off and the plants seem to enjoy the heat. I don't actually, I don't mind the heat. It's, it's the humidity. Ugh, no thank you. So over the weekend, posted a quick little video saying there was some stuff going on. Family was in town and uh, I had a vlog that was filmed and ready to go out for the weekend. There was just no time to edit it. And I went to pick out those clips and edit them and they're gone. Apparently I deleted them. That, that's the only explanation because there was a whole bunch of stuff. I'm okay with it though. That entire video was just nothing but nervous energy. I attempted to film last week's video like three different times. It just, it wasn't coming together well. So for those of you who don't know, I'll link the videos with full details down in the description. There is some health stuff going on last year, cancer and it just <laughs> all kinds of things. Cancer's not funny. I was laughing at whatever weird noise it is that he's making right now. Anyways, a bunch of surgeries, all kinds of stuff was going on. And uh, this past week I had my follow-up CT and I was just a nervous wreck the entire week waiting for my results. I'm not good at waiting for test results. Ever since college, like just, no, I'm bad at it. Perhaps there were some aspects of it that were just a little bit triggering from last year because I had to wait like two weeks for some different pathology results and biopsies. It's just, that's too long, way too long. Oh, and everything's fine. Should have said that right away. Everything's good. No signs of any sort of metastasis or anything like that. So I went from being a nervous wreck waiting for those test results to being absolutely elated and had a fun surprise. My family flew my older sister into town. So had the whole weekend with family just doing all kinds of fun things. And that's what better way to celebrate, right? Family's always got to come first and try and take in and enjoy those moments. It's a celebration for everybody, getting through that first CT scan for anybody who's dealt with those sorts of issues. You know what I'm talking about. And weight off the shoulder was quite extreme. Feeling really good right now. Life is good. Life is beautiful. Lots of good things happening. So yeah, that's essentially all that was going on. It was just the lots of nervous energy and uh, the videos that I was trying to make for the weekend just weren't coming out how I would prefer them to. It was just a mess. You could tell that there was a lot of nervous tension through my voice and the cadence and the way things were just really disorganized, even more so than usual. I figure it was just best to just scrap all that, which is fine since I ended up accidentally deleting it. So didn't even have an option to use that footage and just say hello last weekend and give everybody an update. That's what's been going on. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Just been enjoying life, hanging out in the garden. I spent most of the week last week just trying to do things that help keep me calm. You know, gardening is very therapeutic. It's what I do to help center myself and just play with the plants. Sometimes having the camera doesn't always play well with that trying to relax aspect of things. So I just did a lot of stuff without the camera out. Nothing big, just repotted some things, did a lot of pruning and, you know, gardening stuff. Also had some retail therapy, which Pumpkin seems to be enjoying. Aren't these cute? This is just the cutest cat scratchers ever. Had the entire back of that sectional lined with cat scratchers to keep them from tearing up the furniture, which kind of works. It helps somewhat. And I meant to give some updates with Pumpkin. She's been downstairs more and more. I know she hasn't been in the videos much, but that's just because she hasn't been around, but she's been uh, coming in out of the kitchen and just being cute and rolling around and wanting love. She and Turbo are doing okay. His curiosity towards her is growing and her distance that she's keeping with him is also growing. He seems to understand the hissing and gets away from her when she wants him to. What's your problem? What's your problem, little dude? And Turbo has also become much more vocal lately. Hi, baby. Ye okay, you can't eat the camera. Can't do that. Don't eat the camera, Turbo. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to complain about, all sorts of great things happening. It's, you know, when you have just that little thing in the back of your mind and you don't think it's something you need to worry about, but you can't say for sure, just that tiny little bit of the unknown, it feels good to have that gone. 
at least for now, right? For another year, we'll keep up with those CT scans. If it didn't metastasize within this year, it's likely not going to. It like, would make absolutely no sense. Though me getting that form of cancer made no sense to begin with. So I don't know. I'm not worried about it anymore. Don't really know what to do with all the free mental space that I have now. That's a huge weight to have lifted off the shoulders and have that off the mind. I'm sorry, I can't really walk around and look at the plants. It's just, it's so muggy. Every single time I try, the camera just overheats within like maybe two minutes. So hopefully by Friday, it'll cool off enough that be able to get some stuff going out here to do a bit of vlogging and have a longer video on Saturday. So I know everybody likes the longer videos and uh, well, it just, it's not as much fun. It's just the same shot over and over and over again. Y'all know what these plants look like. You've been seeing them an awful lot lately because they're the plants that are closest to the fan, which is where I need the camera to be. It has to stay within frame of the fan and also it's here in Turbo Town. You can only leave the puppy alone for so long. Cause you're a very distracted little monster, aren't you Turbo? Yes, you are. You're such a good turbo. Toby's okay. He's inside sleeping. He's having a nap. He's just fine. I know if I don't show him, people wonder, but he's good. These Persian shields, they're always thirsty. I think it's because when this palm tree got knocked over the first time, it uprooted them. And then it, it got knocked over again, like a month later. And I just don't think they've been able to put their roots down to stay properly hydrated because they're on drip and everything else that's on drip, they stay pretty well hydrated. But that one right there, no, not so much. It's not love and life right now. All week it's just been struggling and throwing a fit. Might need to add another drip head in there. I should probably do that. Oh yeah, that's why I spent a lot of the week on last week too. Just tuning up the drip. There were some issues. One of my timers has three different like cycle settings, A, B, and C, and then four different actual spots where the hoses connect in. And I didn't realize that A, B, and See, we're both on. Wow, that breeze felt absolutely amazing. So there is a zone with the drip. Actually, this zone over here. Hope that didn't make anybody dizzy. Where I was sitting out here and I was thinking, I was like, I feel like this just ran. And I'd hear it turn on and then turn off. And then like an hour later, I'd hear it turn on, turn off. I'm like, well, that's not, I don't run my drip every hour. What's going on there? And then I figured out that it was, that's what was going on. So thankfully, nothing got overwatered. And also really good that it was super hot outside. So they were able to utilize that water, but it's still a bit much. There are a few yellow leaves on the roads down there, but I really, I mean, that much water. I'm surprised nothing died by the time I figured out what the heck was going on. Yeah, I've been good. Hope you all been good. A huge thank you to everybody for all the support throughout the year with everything that was going on. I know a lot of you have experienced personally, whether yourself or through loved ones, having to deal with some more circumstances and situations. And uh, it was a huge help last summer having all that support and then throughout the year too. The water, I know it looks dirty, it's clean. There's algae on the bottom side of it. So I dump this every day and then I give it a little wipe down and I refill it, but I need to flip the bottom of it over. You having fun in your baby pool turbo? You like the baby pool? Yeah, you good splasher. Just yesterday for the very first time, he got in the pool on his own and swam around in a little circle, then came back to the steps and he looked a little bit panicked. But then he stopped and turned around and went back out, had a little joy swim. He swam over to the skimmer and stuck his head in it. Cause I guess he was curious about what that was. I immediately pulled him out and said, that's dangerous. Don't do that. He swam around a little bit more and got out. That's the first time he's ever gotten in voluntarily and just had a little joy swim. I was so happy to see that. Cause it's important. It's going to help him cool off. It's really good for fitness, help keep pressure off the joints and everything so it's a good form of exercise that was a huge deviation from what's going on anyways thank you everybody so much support so much love great community i appreciate all of y'all like from the bottom of my heart thank you and excuse this mess over here the robins built a nest up here i was ready to take this thing down and they put more babies in it but i think they should be out of here in about a week so that'll all be gone and get that cabinet set up and Probably get that spot cleaned up. Assuming they're out of here next week anyways. Hey bud, how you doing? Not really a fan of the camera. Well, I don't want to torment you. I'm going to pull the camera out. I'm sorry. For those of you who have wanted an iguana update. There it is. Still a little bit of a butthead, but not really a butthead. It's just nervous and scared. Come a long way though. Taming is a very, very, very slow process sometimes with iguanas that are a little bit more timid. Oh, and the pumpkins. That was in the one of the video clips that got deleted for the video that never came out. Look at how great these pumpkins are doing. Got one right there and I think there are a few more tucked in side here. There's another one. There's a pretty big one down here. Oh look at that one. 
Look at it. Oh, you can't even see that. Come on, sunlight. There we go. That's a nice looking pumpkin. More little baby ones starting over there. You can't see those either. All kinds of pumpkins coming in. And just this morning, okay, I said I don't want to keep these over here anymore. I put them away into the garage and then people keep bringing them back out. The ginger just started to open up this morning. That's absolutely beautiful. These are doing the same thing. Gonna love seeing that through the window there in the mornings and when I'm doing dishes and everything. Just watching all the butterflies and hummingbirds fly around those plants. Oh, I can't wait. Had some pretty heavy rainfall yesterday and the Roya didn't seem to appreciate it. Usually those will pop themselves back up, but they, well, it's been 24 hours and they haven't, so I might have to stake them. I really should actually probably chop them and let them fill out from the middle and get thicker, but I don't know. I don't really feel like it. Like, I'm content with this container if it's just the heliconias with the lemon coral sedum and those caladiums that are in there. So I did like that hint of purple, though. Ah, I'll think about that one. I don't think there's anything else major to update out here in the garden uh, other than just things that we'll be doing over the weekend. I just have lots of little things. and Those will be out in the weekend vlog. Oh, yeah. There's another good one got a nice long stem on it. So amidst all my chaotic nervous energy and panic, I did spend some time filming things that just make me happy. Some nice, pretty relaxing things. May as well go ahead and put those up here. Maybe other people will want to watch some clouds, see some bees and some puppy swimming stuff and take the edge off. Again, thank y'all for your support for everything that's been going on. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.